Hello everybody, it's my absolute pleasure to introduce you to Martin Hedges from Neotech, who's now going to give us a talk on scalable 3D print electronics. I'll turn off my camera, microphone, hand to Martin, then I'll reappear when we've got about five minutes okay. to go. Over to you, Martin. Okay, thank you very much. Um, welcome everybody. Uh, so I've got a uh, 15 minutes or so to, to, to talk. Uh, this is my agenda so far. Um, so I've got one slide and a company overview. I'm, I'm going to talk a little bit about designing a 3D print electronics process, how, how, how we, we, we put that together. I'll, I'll talk about some application examples and sort of going beyond sort of simple circuits, uh, looking into, into the aspects of say fully, fully additive 3D printed electronics. Uh, and then I'll have one slide at the end just to explain how print systems, how the, how the hardware looks like. Um, so Neotech, we're based in Nuremberg, Germany, uh, and we're machine tool manufacturers focused only on 3D printed electronics. So we don't do anything else. We, 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 we build systems for this particular purpose. Uh, we've been pioneering this work uh, since about 2009. We built the first system in 2010. And we, we always had the intention of moving to volume production. So we, we developed and patented the uh, 45X system. Uh, so that's a four print head system working five axis range of motion that can scale process, scale the process to, to, to volume manufacture. So that was done in 2012. And we've had some, some uh, co you know, commercial success on that, uh, installing the first system of that type in 2013. Uh, and the first mass production really in 3D print electronics then started in, in, in 2015. So, so we, we've already come quite a long way. Um, but before I sort of go into the technology more detail, maybe some of you are, are wondering, you know, what is the reason for doing this? Why do we need 3D print electronics? And there are three main uh, aspects, uh, headings really. You know, one is the design flexibility. You move away from 2D, you go into the 3D world, uh, then you can obviously get flexibility shape, more integrated products, you get miniaturization, new functionality. Um, then you also have to consider economics. Now, economic benefits can come from different sources, the reduced number of uh, processes that you have in, in making your electronics or mechatronic systems, you can have increased reliability. So that economic aspects and then also like a lot of print electronics applications you know there's the environmental benefits compared to a classical uh, you know pcb based uh, you know, electronic system good so that's why you would want to, to to look at it so what i thought i'd do here is to show a video of a couple of print processes working so we work with a variety of printing techniques really depending upon the application that you have so what you're seeing here is my, my current, my favorite process. It's a jetting process. It's a very simple process. So we have in the orange syringe there, a paste. In this case, it's very much like a screen printing paste and that's jetted onto the surface. And you can see the, the, you know, the printhead being manipulated over the surface, working with those five axis range of motion uh, to, to, to print in 3D space. Uh, what you will also notice as well is that we have a gap. You can see that we can actually throw the ink using these types of processes. That really enables us to work, you know, at, at relatively good speeds on a three D on a three D surface, even if we don't know truly what the three D surface is. So there you see the screen printing paste. You know, it's, it's been printed uh, in, in, in fairly thick. Uh, those lines are about three hundred microns. Now, if you want to go finer, then you maybe have to use a, a different process. So this is a process called Nanojet from the American company IDS. So this is an aerosol technique. So what you're doing here, you're printing much finer lines. So in this case, we're using a nanoparticle ink that is aerodynamically focused. Again, you can quite clearly see the standoff distance, but what that allows you to do is to actually get some different kind of result. So instead of having a piezo jet, we've got a viscous paste, a screen printing type material that goes down very thick. Um, it has relatively wide feature sizes. Um, with a nanojet type process, you go to finer lines uh, that use more fluid inks, uh, you have thinner layers. So there are really many different types of techniques you can use in designing your, your, your print process. Good. So you know, how scalable is this? I, I mentioned in my, my, my slide on the overview of Neotech that we've had some, some uh, volume manufacturing success. So what we did uh, uh, initially, we were working you know, way back in 2012. Um, you know, we're printing on components that are produced by traditional manufacturing techniques. So that could be injection moldings, or it could be a composite, or it could be a forged component or whatever. But basically what you're doing is you're printing onto an external surface. Um, and as time has gone on, so I think 